another video here on Moiny Aquatics and Reptiles. I have a video in store for you that will tell a little bit about the future of this tank right here. Now this guy over here is kind of just sitting and chilling in the corner like he almost always does. Now that's normal for him. I'm not overly concerned about it. But this guy, much like the other turtles that I are that I have in my other room, are also going to be getting a new habitat and that is going to all be outside and combined into one habitat because the habitat I'm putting in I'm building out there for them or not building but uh making for them is uh basically gonna have that much land space available to all the turtles at any given point so I figured while he's probably not going to go into the water as often as the other turtles are we're gonna put him up there on the land section and see what happens. Now, you'll notice above here, I have two different heat lights. All right, now mind you, that's a 150 watt daytime heat bulb, and there's a 160 watt power sun bulb. Now, the reason why I have two, well, now the reason why I have 310 watts of heat at this point, and UVB and all that other stuff running on this tank is because this tank is gonna have a new lizard that's going to require a much greater heat uh and this right here is going to be the basking area for him uh, as you can see i kind of have the temperature probe right there um but this is not the actual final setup this is just me seeing if i could achieve the temperatures necessary in the tank at least in one spot for the next guy i'm going to be putting in here I'm not gonna tell you exactly what that is yet, but when this guy goes outside, a new creature will inhabitat this. And uh, the creature that's going in here is going to be definitely in need of some heat, hence why that's right there. That'd be a nice little basking spot for him. He'll have all that other space to roam around. There's gonna be some rocks, more than just that one. All that's gonna go away with that guy outside but we have also this probably gonna be a background on the same too uh we're gonna have to figure out how to get that allergy all cleaned off all nice nice and then we are going to be putting a background on this tank as well uh just because it doesn't quite look as nice as the beardies tank which is right there or the 75, which is right there, that both have backgrounds on them. This one you can just kind of see straight through the glass into the wall, and well, it's not that appealing to look at when you want to when you're looking at a in this case turtle, or in the next case a lizard of some sort. Anyways, just a little update on what is going to happen with this tank. That's all I really got for you guys today, and uh, until next time, I will see you later.